pour moi, c'est... Like in life, when you're filming, sometimes you have obstacles, you have the unforeseen that comes up. And I think what is important for me, for a lot of people that I feel that it's something that's a setback for me, I, I feel that I'm fed by the, uh, the unforeseen, by things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis, because that's how life happened. Now, how I, did, I do bring that to my filming and particularly to my actors. On ne trouve pas la clé the actor, which là, is in fact one of the most important things in a movie, is the one that needs to be able to work with this. So on a day-to-day -day basis, it's just like life, it's a journey. Sometimes there is storm, sometimes you have calm days, but you're always traveling towards a desired outcome, a desired goal or a destination, and you have to learn to live and to work through the different challenges the life is proposing or that a film is proposing. It was um, very difficult to uh, work in some ways because they are very different in their approach and um, in the way they are acting their scenes. So, for example, Adele gives everything of herself. She is free. She needs to understand, of course, but she's always ready. She doesn't measure when she gives her things. She's very gener generous and she doesn't hold back. She doesn't calculate when she's going to give or not. She just is always ready to give all of herself. Whereas Lea, she's more in an intellectual search of a character. She uh, shows, she plays more the character rather than embodying the character. So we did many takes a lot of times because I was waiting with Lea, working with Lea for her to free herself up and really embody the character. So sometimes we were doing 20, 15 or 20 takes when Adele was giving everything of herself and we kept on waiting for Lea also to free herself up so I could capture that real essence. And by the time that Lea was freeing herself up, maybe Adele was lowering her performance because she was getting tired. So I found myself asking something that I don't really ask, like to ask is for Adele to be more patient and for Lea to open herself more, to free herself more. So in uh, many ways, sometimes I have to go for the second wind of Adele's energy and wait for that in order for us to get the real scene. This is the first time I was confronted to two actors with such different nature, so the experience was very rich, but also very intense. C'est une chose qui, qui made a desire of close-up to faces. In life, I, am, I have that desire, and somewhat I have this zooming in my eye now, naturally, that I can look at a face and I'm really taken by the details of the face. So something happens that I need to capture the expressions. Is, um, there is a way to film uh, this close-ups. There are many ways to film these close-ups where you can change slightly something and there is many different ways that you are going to see a close-up. Maybe it's just a little detail of the way someone is looking or of the expression of ordered faces. But it's something that came in an instinct, instinctive way to me. The close-up, sometimes you change a millimeter of the position of the camera and you're going to take something different and it's going to express something different. So in a way, and this is just an expression, it's just an image, is a desire to penetrate the soul of this uh, actor who is not an actor anymore but is the embodiment of, embodiment of this character. Le gros plan, et puis le gros plan, le gros plan, il y a mille façons de faire un gros plan. Ça n'est pas le gros plan. On va poser trois minutes pour euh, il y a les bruits. D'accord. C'est bon. Ah. On va on va continuer parce que euh, s'arrêter. C'est bien que, 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 que cela arrive. Et un tournage, on est toujours confronté euh, à quelque chose d'imprévu. Oui, c'est bien que ça se passe quand vous filmez, il y a toujours des choses qui sont... C'est vrai. 
doit toujours s'adapter. You have to adapt always to the unforeseen. 